In the second part of our four-part series looking at former coaches of the America East Conference, we take a look at two coaches who helped the Vermont women's program become one of the top teams in the Northeast during the 1990s. With the Vermont women's basketball program reaching great heights last season, including a win in the NCAA tournament, it's hard to remember that just 20 years ago the Catamounts were a struggling program. Then, in 1986, Kathy and Glace entered the picture as head coach and led the Catamounts to back-to-back -back undefeated regular seasons in 1991-92 and 92-93. She was followed by Pam Borden, who led the Catamounts to the 1994 NCAA tournament and continued the success that the Glace had started. They both helped the program start to emerge as one of the top mid-majors in the Northeast. Well, and I, actually, that's where my coaching started was in the America East. When I was 22 years old, I went to the University of Vermont as an assistant for five years, and then was a, had the opportunity of moving up and was promoted to the head coach at the University of Vermont. Um, it prepared me, um, you know, head coaching wise. Um, it gave me the opportunity to, you know, be responsible for a program. Um, we had a lot of success at Vermont when I was there. Um, to be able to go to, the, to an NCAA tournament, win a conference uh, tournament championship when I was there, the head coach there, and to be able to recruit and just having that responsibility. Um, being a head coach um, in the America East allowed me to make a, an easy adjustment um, into the Big Ten. Yeah, I think, you know, day in and day out, you know, the competition in the conference was very, very good, and you had to really be on your toes, and you go against some very good coaches, so it really, you know, made you, you know, uh, you know uh, school yourself and the strategy, and also going at the top recruits, and I think I developed that, you know, because of the strength of the conference. Um, obviously, there's great coaches in the America East now, Many of the coaches that are still there could easily be coaching um, at a higher level in a BCS conference, but it's a quality it's a quality conference uh, academically. It's a quality conference basketball wise, um, and a very very competitive uh, level. Oh, it was it was outstanding. You know, the last few years and you know watching them in the NCAA tournament, um, I still stay in touch with them because one of my former players, uh, Sue Marslin, is an administrator there. And I, as I said, I feel like it's my little baby, and I. You know, I've always followed whatever coach, Pam Morton following me, uh, who was my assistant there, Keith Saplicki, uh, you know, was up there, uh, Sharon, um, uh, you know, and Lori uh, um, McBride to this point. I love just following the scores and, and wanting them to do well. So it's, it'll always be in my heart, and I'll always continue to follow them. Well, I think taking, uh, helping take Vermont from um, being one of the worst programs in the America East to uh, the best program um, at the time, we went on a... 50-some game win, win streak. Uh, it was the longest winning streak uh, in Division One basketball at the time, filling the stadium up with uh, uh, many of the Catamount uh, followers there um, in Burlington, Vermont, and uh, it was just a, it was a great experience. I think the community and the fans were just unbelievable. You know, you're in Vermont; it's a below zero weather. Uh, we didn't have season ticket holders at the time. And uh, those people were sitting asleep in lounge chairs and sleeping bags overnight to get in line to come to the games. I mean, you talk about devoted fans, that stands out in my mind. Um, I know we also had a, um, a conference championship at Vermont, and we were in the middle of having a blizzard. And I didn't think anybody would be at the game. And it ended up being sold out. People were um, uh, walking to the game, people were cross country skiing to the game. It was a packed house. I mean, the devotion of that, the administration, and them handling how our program really went from being nothing to, you know, undefeated to being sold out in a short period of time. Uh, the administration of the coaches were extremely supportive. So it's, to this day, it's just a, a very, very, very fond memory. And, you know, the fans still continue to stay in touch with me now. They, they went and followed me at Boston College and now at Rhode Island. They said they would do that and they've continued to do that. So I, I can want about that, but it, I, I, I love my experience within that.